there we go. There we go. I don't think that's a crappie. I think it's a bass or a bluegill. <laughs> hey guys and girls, how y'all this evening? I walked down here to dock. I can't throw that very far. It might not work. I walked down here to dock this evening to, to make a few throws. I, I took a red man spinner bait and made a few throws out there. And the first three, oh, I did. It may work. It may work. It may work. First three or four throws, I got strikes, but I didn't catch them all. And then about the fifth or sixth throw, I caught a crappie. Now it wasn't a giant crappie, but he was probably he was probably he was probably about. Benelli, get down. Benelli, get back. He was probably, get back, Benelli. That's a big crappie right there. That's a giant crappie right there. A giant crappie. But, uh, but he was probably about a pound, maybe. Perfect heat and size crappie. And uh, I caught on spinnerbait, red man spinnerbait. Now, when I threw out there, the first three or four throws, I got tick, I set the hook. Tick, set the hook. Tick, set the hook. And about the third throw, I caught a crappie. Caught a crappie. So, can't throw that. I've put a 16th ounce jig, or I have a 16th ounce jig on here, a crappie magic jig, and I've got a little, uh, I've got a little, a little swimming minnow on the back of it, a lucky strike swimming minnow. Lucky strike, the world's luckiest fishing tackle. <laughs> the world's luckiest fishing tackle. And, uh, but I was throwing pretty far out there, and the strikes were pretty far out, and I need to have an eighth ounce. I can throw a lot further than an eighth ounce. I've got 20 pound braid on this reel and I don't have near as much line as I need on it. That might got out there far enough. The bites were coming pretty far out there on that on that spinner bait. But anyway, so I, I want to get this to see if I catch a few crappie. And that crappie was much larger than the crappie I caught. I thought maybe a bunch of little ones had moved in. I have not been catching any crappie off the dock. I have not been catching any. I've been coming down here and catching two or three or four or five bass or sometimes bit they're biting good, maybe eight or nine. But I haven't been catching any crappie. And the lake has got lots of crappie in it. No doubt about it. Well, I caught one in the first throw. It'll change, change over. Not making very long throws. I need to put some line on this reel. This is one of my Jimmy Houston Blaze series rod and reels. But you see, I don't have much line on it. See how much line? It needs, it needs to be full all the way up to where that blue meets that black. That's where you want to fill them. Uh, so you have, them, you have them pretty full. And uh, I don't have very much line on it. The reason I don't is sometimes it gets messed up and I'm retying, changing lures and doing all kinds of stuff. And I just use up my line. One thing about braid, you don't wear it out. You can leave it on there for a long, long time. And uh, I tie leaders to it sometimes. Now I've got it just fishing it right straight to the, wish I had one of the spike it line markers in my pocket. I could mark the end of that line, maybe get a few more bites. Might have already marked this one. Yeah, I've marked that. The bottom of that's a little bit different color, and that's it's washed off a little bit. You have to, you know, that won't stay on there. It's not permanent. So after you fish it a while, and of course, I've tied on, so it's probably the reason it's not real dark down there. I need to put a couple of those line markers down here at the dock where I can mark this line up down here. Got it in my boat. Well, maybe there's two crappie out there, and that's all. <laughs> Maybe I didn't have any more crappie out there. That isn't something. That's something. That's crazy. You know, I got like three or four bites on, on the cast. You know, it just like... Trying to get it way out there. Let it fall a little bit. That little 16th ounce is going to fall really, really slowly. Let it get down just a little bit. Don't want to get in the grass. Want to come right above that grass. There may not be hardly any out there. It may just now be starting to come in. But when they come in, a lot of times, a lot of them come in. Sometimes you can sit here and catch 30 or 40 or 50. That's what I was thinking about doing. <laughs> I was thinking about making about 8 or 10 casts and catching about 8 or 10 crappie. Didn't work out that way. I caught one old big one, didn't I? Well, bull corn. Bull corn, the best laid plans. Sometimes don't work very well, but there are some crappie moving in, and maybe in a, another day or two, it might be a different ball game. The cold fronts are getting further apart right now, this time of the year, and they're not staying around very long. Some of them actually come down as cold fronts and hit unstable air in Texas and turn around and come back up as a warm front. That's exactly what they do. When they come back, a lot of times they bring some rain with them. 
we sure could use rain. Need a lot of rain to fill our other lake up. This lake's in good shape here. Oh, it's such a thrill to be able to come down here and catch a crappie. Huh. <laughs> I guess just one. Well, actually two. One on a spinnerbait. One on a crappie magic jig. I thought I might throw out there and catch one like about every throw. Yeah. Now I got a little tick there and I didn't catch him. They're probably still down in that grass. I probably have to get right above that grass in order to catch them. I'll tell you what let's do. Go to the other side of the dock and try it. There we go. There we go. I don't think that's a crappie. I think it's a bass or a bluegill. Might be a big old bluegill. <laughs> big old bluegill. <laughs> how good how good is a crappie magic jig how good is a crappie magic jig if if the bat if the bluegill won't bite the crappie magic jig the crappie magic jig will bite the bluegill look at that hooked him right in the top of the back <laughs> that's a big bull bluegill look at his nose on that big bull bluegill he's a big one look at that nose on that rascal <laughs> i love him Oh well, let me get my hand in. Let me get my finger in your little bitty mouth. Quit, but now that's the good thing about not having a barb. I could tell the way he was fighting it. It was either a bass or a, or a big bluegill. And there's a big bluegill. Good thing about this side is I'm throwing with the wind too. <laughs> Well, well, that's a, a crappie was one crappie. If the wind was blowing the other way, I could get way further out there. I think the crappie are further away from the dock than I'm throwing over there because they were biting that spinnerbait pretty far out there. The first ones that would tick and it was biting it pretty far out there. They weren't biting it up real close. I got a little... I've got a little round head crappie magic. Crappie magic with a little lucky strike swimming minnow on it, a little curly tail swimming minnow. And it's just a dynamite bait. I think they call that color electric chicken. I'm not sure. <laughs> I like the sounds of electric chicken though. I like to put chicken in electric and then fry them. Come on, Mr. Big Crappie. Evidently, there are not any on this side. There's likely some down there, just not biting. That those ticking over there. I had two or three tick this this little this little jig and not bite it, not take it, you know. And I had like six or eight ticks on that spinnerbait, you know, about three or four bites per throw, and. Uh, there's one I threw out there and caught one for it ever, ever engaged my reel almost. That's another bluegill. <laughs> look at he pull. Look at he, look at he bid that pole. Oh, he, he got down the grass and got off. Got down the grass and got away. That was another bluegill though. That was a big bluegill though. Surely I can find a crappy sockeye out there somewhere. You know, probably some of those ticks were probably bluegill hitting that spinner right too, now that I think about it. Because I've thrown out here and got a couple of bluegill on this this jig. There may not be many crappie moved in here yet. When they get in here good and it's right, and it's usually right this time of the day, you can really whack them. You can whack them. Might not catch 20 or 30, but sometimes you can catch 6 or 8 pretty quickly. Be a little six pack of them you can catch almost all of them it's 
It's nice to see something coming in. And I'm going to go back over and throw it into in a couple times. At least I caught a couple. Actually, that's four. Two of them y'all didn't see. Trust me, though, I caught them. Trust me, though, I caught them. That's right. That's right. I'm going to walk over here. Walk over here. And uh, make a few more throws. Further you get it, the further out there you get it, I think the better are. They were pretty far out there. I got one right there. This is something real little. I don't think this is a crappie either. This is probably this is a bluegill. This is not even a big bluegill. Oh, it's a pretty rascal though. Look at that rascal. It's not a big one, but he's pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, buddy. Got that barbless hook. <laughs> Did you see how he just fell off? That's the advantage of barbless hooks. I don't want to get fish all over my hands. <laughs> okay, Jimmy. Yeah, those that's just ticking out there. There's not many crappie out there. There's a bunch of bluegill moved in out there. That's the deal. A bunch of bluegill. And so they were ticking that spinnerbait when I was throwing it out there. And uh, there's a few crappie in there. And I caught two. One on spinnerbait, one on the jig. And then I've caught one cents and two bluegill so that's five that's not too bad i love it i'll take it i don't want to make a couple more long throws oh get out there as far as i can let her sink down a little bit and start swimming it back slow swim slow swim I like to catch them swimming that jig. Good solid thump. <laughs> well, this is not a crappie either. This is another bluegill. Well, all those ticks and bumps out there were bluegill, okay? But bluegill are fun to catch. A couple of those bluegill were giants. This is not bad. It's not a giant bluegill, but it's not bad. Vanelli, get back. Vanelli, quit. <laughs> It's big enough that you can barely get your thumb in their mouth just a little bit and hold them. That's a big giant bluegill right there. Guys and girls, go catch you some fish. It don't matter what they are. It don't matter what size they are. It just matters that they got a head on one end, a wiggle on the other end. And I love them. And I sure do love you. <laughs> oh, I love this.